There are some different demonstrations you can do in order to show the different parts of the water cycle. The first one is to demonstrate evaporation. Find a couple containers within the classroom that you can leave for a week. Fill, eat, fill both containers full of water, but leave one covered. This works best if you can place it near a window or somewhere warm. When you come back a week later, you should see that the uncovered jar will have lots of the water will have evaporated out of it. Another activity you can do to demonstrate condensation is take a bowl and fill it full of ice. You should do this right at the beginning of your session. Uh, as the ice melts and cools down the bowl, you should start to see some condensation form on the outside of the bowl. This will give the kids the idea of what happens as the water vapor rises into the cooler air in the atmosphere. The final activity you can do to demonstrate parts of the water cycle is pour some boiling water into a Pyrex bowl and cover it with a lid. After a minute you can take the lid off and you should be able to see some condensation form on the underneath the underside of the lid. You can ask the kids what's happened, why there's water droplets on this lid. And they should be able to realize that the water vapor is evaporating and then condensating onto this lid.